Hey and welcome, I'm glad you found the channel and today we are talking lipless crankbaits. So the most popular lipless crankbait is the rattle trap. It's been around for a long time, it's got some great features, but it's got some bad features. So we're going to do a little mod today on this and I'm going to show you what to do and I'm going to prove that it is strong and works. So uh, one of the downfalls with the rattle trap is the hooks and one of the first things people do is change the hooks. Now, these days, if you find the right package, rattle traps actually come with a Mustad EWG hooks on them. So you don't really have to change the hooks. But there's another weak link to this uh, rattle trap here. So if you look at the hook, I put a little red on it, okay? And when you twist the hook, so right now it free flows. When you twist the hook, okay, so there's 180 degrees. There's just a hair more than 180 degrees right there. The red hook's right here, where it was right here, okay? That is now a solid link, okay? Because the metal, um, uh, the metal ring is just wedged in there against it. So when your fish grabs the bait and the bait's spinning around, well, eventually, after not even one full turn, it's gonna be in that position. Now it's a solid link, so as he's shaking his head, poof, the hook comes out and you lose your fish. Everybody who's fished rattle traps know they're a great bait, but you lose a lot of fish, especially if they're jumping. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, first we're gonna change the hooks, put some little better hooks, that's done. The second thing is we're gonna remove that um, ring, okay? So we're gonna replace that with 65 pound braid. Uh, one of the hardest things to do is coming up with a knot that will not slip and we'll you know, do the test of time here. So uh, I just happen to have Stren, you can use any brand you want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out the ring and we're gonna replace it with braid. So I'm gonna show you how to do that and then when we're done, I'm gonna bring it to my bench and I'm gonna rip a lure apart. And we're gonna see, I'm, instead of me tying a hook, I'm gonna tie, okay, a big ring to it. Uh, this is like a uh, size seven. Okay, this is just so you guys can see. Um, I can tie a hook and straighten a hook too. I might even do that, we'll see. But um, I'm gonna tie this as the hook to the lure and we're gonna pull until something breaks. Now I've done this test quite a few times. I know what's gonna break. So uh, let's get onto it. I'm gonna move com uh, camera position so you can see me tie this knot. It is not hard. Um, with the hooks in place, be very careful because when you're tightening the knot, um, you know, you don't want to pull a hook into your hand. So, let me move you, we'll get to tie-in, then we'll do testing, and we'll be done. Then you can go on to make your own and modify your own lures. Okay, so here is a lure that I modified already, and it has the string on it, or the, uh, the braid. And you can see that before we could only turn it this far and it was locked up. Now you can turn it that far, that far again, that far again. Okay, so that bass would have to do pirouettes on its head before it could even come close to uh, making that a solid connection. This would have to wrap around many, many, many times. So let's show you how to make that knot. To make that knot, you're gonna need an a small screwdriver. Okay, this is a like a quarter inch shaft. This is for a very, very small screw. Anyways, so you want a small shaft. You do not want a larger screwdriver. This would be your next, st next step up. Okay, and um, you can see the size difference. This one is really small. So use the smallest screwdriver you have. Uh, the bigger screwdriver is fine. It's just, it's gonna, it's, your screwdriver is making your O-ring. So your O-ring is gonna come out bigger, which means your front hook and your back hook will be closer and could interlock. Okay, so we're gonna use this well-used rattle trap. Right now it doesn't have any hooks or anything on it. This rattle trap has caught a ton of baits, as you can see. It is stripped and it's at the end of its life, which it's not because I'm gonna repaint it. So I drew a circle here just so I know that this is in view when I'm doing the knot. So you wanna take your screwdriver, and the first thing you wanna do is just 
tape it down, okay? It doesn't have to be a lot, just one little piece of tape, okay? For your line, do not be skimpy with the line. You want to give yourself two and a half to three feet of line. I know it seems like a lot, but you're going to thank me for saying, hey, I had some leverage tying that knot. So pull yourself out about two or three feet. Give it a cut. Fold it over, okay? And there's the loop end. Okay, grab your lure and put it through. Now, I was gonna do a hook, but for the testing, okay, I'm gonna use the ring, uh, the split ring, uh, in lieu of a hook, okay? And uh, so you put that on. Okay, so you have your lure and your hook. Take your line, put it underneath the screwdriver, okay? If you want, you can also tape down your loop. So I'm right-handed, I've got the loop end in my left hand, and I have the tags in in my right. I'm just gonna put my pinky or one of my fingers down here to hold a loop at the bottom, okay? Now I'm gonna take this, the tag end, and we're gonna go around once on the main line, okay? Twice on the main line, three times, four times, and five times. Okay, so when you're done, when you're done, you wrapped, you wrapped your tag line around your other line five times, okay? And you have your loop down here. Take your tag line, put it through the loop. Okay. And at that point, you can remove your finger. It doesn't need to be there. It was just there to keep the loop open nice and neat. So it should kind of look like this. Tag line, you're still holding your folded end. Okay. Open up the folded end so it's a loop. Take your tag line, put it through the loop. Okay, so now it's gonna look like that. Hopefully you can see that. Now you're just going to pull, okay? You can put your finger on it and just pull slow, okay? If you wanna push it down a little bit, that's fine. So now here's why you needed some extra line. Wrap your fingers around it if you want or however you want, and you're just gonna pull and you're gonna go, when you pull, don't pull fast, you're gonna see the loop is still up here, okay? But if you grab the line hard and you work it back and forth, your loop disappears, okay? When your loop is gone, your knot is complete. Okay, now it takes a little bit of pull, but working it back and forth like that, every time you do this, that loop gets sucked in further and further, okay? So your knot is almost done now. Now we're gonna take the tag line, and we have two sides, okay? And we're just gonna do a standard overhand knot, but we're gonna do a double overhand knot, okay? So just cross your lines, Come through once like you're tying your shoes. Come through twice like you're tying your kid's shoes. Tighten down. And we're gonna do it again. Cross once, cross twice, tighten it up. Okay, nice and tight. One last time, over once, over twice, Okay, and you are done with the knot. While it's taped, it's kind of nice, you can take your scissors and give it a little trim. Okay, now this is not, 
Now this is not the prettiest looking knot in the world. It's actually a long knot. That's because it's a, it's basically a uh, compression knot, okay? Um, pretty much like a, um, uh, a blood knot. So it's a compression knot, and that, but it would slide open, and we're using those three double overhand knots to lock that in place. And trust me, it locks it in place. So we now, now you, can, you can slide this off your screwdriver, and you're gonna see that you have a really nice loop in there, okay? Now, if you don't want the fuzzies, you can take a, uh, on your line, you can take a lighter and, um, and burn those off, okay? Or you can just leave it on. Uh, the knot will not affect any of the motion. It will not get in the way of the hook sets or anything like that, okay? It is, it's just there. Um, it, again, it's not the prettiest looking knot, but it is a very, very strong knot. So let's go take this onto the bench out there and let's give it a pull. These are four O-rings that I found from my previous test. There's still, still three or four, I think three more missing. They went flying across the garage. Okay, as I said, I'm using number seven split rings, okay, from Bass Pro Shops. I don't know what pound test they are, but they're pretty stout, okay? They, you, I'm pretty sure nobody's ever straightened one on your lure. So let's go screw this into place. There's the lure we just used, and we're gonna screw that right here. So let me set up the camera and finish that screwing in with a drill and we'll get going. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Okay, that knot. Okay, so that went pretty good. I hope the slow-mo actually came out good. It's the first time I've used it. This is the actual uh, um, split ring that came off uh, the lure. And this is the lure. And as you can see, the uh, what would be the split ring, but the, uh, bar the braid is still all good. It'll hold the hook for another day, although it won't because you have to cut it off and tie a new one. But if you were trapped on a tree there's no way this is breaking, okay? Your hook's gonna be straightened uh, before. I'm actually surprised that the lure didn't break here. That was one of my first guests when I started doing this test. But um, the O-rings, I think that's like number seven now. So I've tested this very thoroughly. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I will be fishing with the lures that I just tied up and old lures that I have previously tied up. Um, I'm going to be doing some fishing with those out at Lake Seminole and in the bay. And yeah, I use them out in the bay. Um, but I was just thinking when I was on the side, I'm going to catch a fish and just let it jump and run and do what it wants and see if it can spit the bait. Okay. All fish are going to spit the bait, but how easy it is, is it really going to get rid of it? It could latch on and hold on forever. So we'll see, but you're going to catch more fish with this than a standard over, uh, split ring. So uh, good luck to you. Thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you soon.